All right guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is probably gonna be one of the shortest <laughs> videos that I've ever put out, but I wanted to kind of document this because I recently saw this on the forums and I checked it out on Amazon and it looks like they have really, really good reviews. So the brand is Oxylam and I wanted to replace the signal lights, the turn signals for the fronts. Um, I may do the back lights as well, just depending on how I like this brand. But according to the site, it is 4,000 lumens and it's eight watts. So it'll be a direct replacement for the factory bulbs that we have now, except these are LED. And just judging by its look, it, it's huge compared to the stock ones. So again, this will be a very short video. Uh, I just wanted to do a comparison against the stock versus this one right here. So let's go ahead and get started. And if you're new to my channel, my name is Ron and this is my 2018 Subaru WRX. So we'll be installing it on my car today. All right, let's go ahead and open it, see how this thing looks. That's insane, look how big this thing is. We'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. But it looks like that's a, I don't know, I could be wrong, but it looks like a fan or Maybe it's used for heat dissipation, but regardless, there's some blades on the top of the bulb. And yeah, this thing feels solid. So let's go ahead and uh, remove the stock bulb from the car. So I went ahead and removed my air duct. It's completely optional, but for the purposes of the video, it's easier for me. So if you've never replaced your turn signal bulb, then it is this one right here with the gray tab. So you just turn that counterclockwise and then that bulb should come out. And I realized I didn't use gloves to take this out, but I was very, very careful. But yeah, always use gloves and don't touch the strip itself. Just a side by side comparison. Holy cow, this thing is huge compared to the stock one. But the fitment should be just fine since there's enough room up above. But yeah, look at that. That's crazy. So anyway, yeah, we'll go ahead and throw this on and then do a quick side by side. All right, so hopefully you guys have a good visual on this. But I'm simply just gonna plug it in. Don't know if it's directional, it shouldn't be, but we'll try it. It's plugged in. And then Fish it back. And then make sure it locks in there. All right, so it's a little hard to see, but there it is. It's completely normal for it to angle up. I just checked the other side and that bulb is kind of pointed up. So I did forget to mention that I have this film over here um, on the corner of the headlight, so it'll reduce a little bit of the uh, the brightness of that light, but it is also yellow, so it shouldn't impact it too much. Yeah, so that's installed, and now let's go ahead and do a side-by-side. -side. So we have the stock one over there on the driver's side. So let me shut off the lights. Yeah, that is, that's freaking bright. And since it's LED, it just turns it on and off. It doesn't have that fading effect. But yeah, that that's super bright. And I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I guess these are fans on, on the top. Every time it illuminates, you can hear the fan go off. Yeah, let me put the microphone towards it so you guys can hear it. Yeah, that's crazy. I've never seen a turn signal bulb with fans. It's amazing. Yeah, so check that out. That's the fan. Okay, so it's pitch black in the garage. I'm just gonna push the unlock button. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that is significantly brighter. All right, actually, I think it'd be a better idea if I do the comparison right now while we're outside. So I haven't replaced it yet, so here we go. And yeah, if you guys can see that, 
Let me do the uh, emergency lights. Yeah, if you guys can tell, it's pretty obvious that the left side is a lot brighter. That's crazy. And it'll be brighter if I didn't have these film. But yeah, that is, that's pretty bright. Here's another quick comparison from the inside of the car. Yeah, look at that. That is crazy. Nothing like letting people know <laughs> where you're turning. So yeah, this is insanely bright and I'm super happy about it. So yeah, now let's get the driver's side swapped out. So the cool thing about it is it doesn't cause any error lights or anything like that. That's my TPMS light, so don't worry about that. But yeah, everything was just plug and play. And let's say you're signaling. Yeah, you gotta be blind not to see that freaking light. Signal right, yep. Then we got our emergency lights on. Yeah, that's insane. And then just for comparison purposes, again, headlights are on, it's pitch dark outside. Yeah, you can still see it through, that's crazy. <laughs> and then this is with my fog lights, my diode dynamics. Yeah, you can still, it still goes all the way up. I can't get over it. This is amazing. All right, so I moved the car in the middle of the cul-de-sac and it's pretty dark in that area. So I'm just gonna signal left. Oh my God, look at that. Signal right. Feels like I'm high beaming someone. Look, that's insane. just blown away anyway I'm gonna move the car back into the garage and then I'll close out the video all right you guys so that's gonna be it for this video again the brand is oxy lamb I will link it in the description below and no this is not a sponsorship I paid for this with my own money so I'm just giving you guys an honest review but yeah they are bright as hell so I'm gonna get some for the rear indicators as well just because of how happy I am with this but yeah it should be the same part number again it'll be in the description so you guys can check it out if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments below other than that thank you guys so much for watching and as always I'll see you guys in the next one